Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to shrink the Divi header menu when you start scrolling. So it's going to stay fixed at the top and things are going to shrink. The menu, um, the font size is going to get a little smaller, the spacing is going to, sh going to shrink, and the logo is going to get a little smaller. This is familiar to you if you're used to the old header before the theme builder came out. So we're going to be using the theme builder like I said, keeping it fixed, and when you scroll, it's going to shrink. I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. So you may have seen one of our other tutorials about changing the Divi header when scrolling. So we had it transparent, and then when you start scrolling, it turns into a different background color. And we follow. if you follow along that tutorial, we use the theme builder. Um, we add some classes, and we add some jQuery, and then we add some CSS. This tutorial is going to be very similar to that one, and it's actually compatible with it. So if you've already followed along with that other tutorial, you don't need to necessarily add like some of the code. Like You won't need to add the jQuery or add the class because it's already in there. All right, so let's go over to our example website, and we're going to go into the theme builder. It's found under Divi Theme Builder, and I have uh, one set up here for the, a specific page called header. So let's go in there and edit that custom header. By the way, you're going to want to follow along on the blog post. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the link in the description down below. If you're right there on the blog post already, that's great because you're going to want to copy some of the code. So the first thing we're going to do is add the class PA header to this section. So in the theme builder, go into your section here that's below and um, well, you know, obviously build your section and all that. I actually have um, a menu module in here already. So go into your section to the advanced tab and the CSS ID in classes toggle, open that up. And under CSS class, type in PA dash header. All right, go ahead and save that. Now that's all we have to do. Just make sure that you have your you know your your header set up here and we, we're using like I said we're using a menu module um, that's gonna you know I'm gonna show you how to shrink this down and um, I have uh, it says logo it's actually an image but it says logo okay so we're gonna shrink that logo and the spacing and the text size in this tutorial so that's all we have to do in here let's make sure that we save and then let's also make sure we save in the theme builder which it saves it saves automatically if you've already had this open. See, it says all changes saved. If you had just created it, you would have to come back and click on you know save changes. Okay. So the next thing, now that we've added that, we need to go to our Divi theme options. So again, this is under Divi theme options, and go over here to the tab that says integration. We're going to click on there. We're going to be adding some code here where it says add code to the head of your blog. It's the first one here. If you already have code in here, that's fine. I already do. Let's go down below it. That's fine. So back on the blog post, let's, let's find that script here. Okay, so here where it says add some custom jQuery code and copy this. And again, if you've done this with our other tutorials, some of these kind of overlap and you know build on each other. So of course, don't, don't add it twice, you know, so just um, it's actually using the same classes. So that's what's nice about this. So just paste it in there. Okay. And remember to click save changes. Now the next thing is, um, working with the, uh, CSS. So we're going to be shrinking the header. Uh, of course, the first thing we're going to do is change the spacing. So in fact, let me show you the header right now. Um, just a sample page and by the way, I don't know if I said it, but make sure you have this set as fixed I d I've been doing so many of these tutorials. I forget to um, Repeat myself So in the section in the advanced tab down here where it says position open that and you want that set to fixed and Then this little blue square put it on the top center and that keeps it fixed when we scroll Okay, so like here See how it stays fixed. That's what's doing that. Okay, so let's go back to our blog post and copy the first one here. And this is um, the spacing. So let's copy that and go over to um, to the theme options again. But this time we're on the general tab. So Divi theme options all the way down. And again, if you had code in here, you could paste it in there after it. That's fine. 
Okay, so there we have it. All right, so what we're doing here is we're changing, um, we're adding a transition effect and then we're removing the padding. When you start scrolling, it adds this class, PA fixed header. That's what the jQuery was doing. So what's, what I'm saying is here, when you start scrolling down, it changes the padding to zero. So let's go ahead, refresh the page and look at that first step. All right, so let's take a look. There we go. Our header is shrinking and you can see how it has a nice smooth action to it, All right? You can adjust that. So here in the code, I have it set to 0.5 seconds, so half a second. You know, you could change that if you want it slower or faster. Okay, so we want we want to do a couple more things because you know that you know we're just it just seems like the logo and the text needs to change too. Okay, so we we'll go back here and the next section here is change the logo size. So again, you're gonna want to copy that snippet and go ahead and paste it right after the other one in your Divi theme options. Okay, so here what we're doing is we're adding the transition to the logo and then we're saying when you start scrolling, when that class becomes active again, we're saying to change the maximum width of that image to 80% of what it was before, okay? I used the percentage, I mean, you could use, you know, pixel width, whatever. I used the percentage just to make it easy because it's gonna be 80% of what it was. All right, let's save that and go take a look at that one. All right, so here we are, let's scroll and see what happens. There you go. So along with the menu shrinking, we also have the logo shrink, okay? Now the text stays the same size. That's gonna be our next thing. So let's go back again, copy this. And these are optional, but I think they go together really well. So we're just gonna go to theme options again, go below the code, paste that in. And this again is adding a transition effect for that text. And we're declaring the font size here, okay? And, and this is gonna vary. So you're gonna need to adjust this number based on what you already have it. So I have my the font size of my menu pretty big. I think it's like 20 couple, okay, pixels. So I'm setting it to 16 when we start scrolling and that fixed class becomes active, okay? And you have to add the word important. So make sure that you when you come in here and paste this, you just change the number and keep important. And then let's save changes. Let's go take a look at this last step. All right, let's see what happens when we scroll now. There we go, we have a nice shrinking header. So we have the spacing, which is on top and bottom here of the row, that's going away. The logo is getting 80% smaller and the font size is changing 16 pixels. All right, I think that looks really nice, don't you? So now you may be thinking, what about adding something else? So how do you target other things in general and this system that I'm using here like I said it was the same for that one where I changed the background from transparent to a collar so I'm gonna go back here and just show you real closely here for another couple minutes what is actually happening so here when we pasted this jQuery into our theme options notice how we target it says PA header and then we're adding the class after we scroll now I'm not going to explain this code, but um, the gist of it is that well, remember when we were in here, we added a class and we said we want this section to be PA header. Okay, so we're saying after you scroll, PA header actually adds a class PA fixed header. Okay, and then when you scroll back up, PA header removes the class PA fixed header. So when I'm just here at the top without scrolling, see when it's just right there at the top, it's it's just PA header, all right? It's, it's, it's not doing anything. But as soon as we start to scroll, another CSS class, PA fixed header, is becoming active. And by that being active, we're able to target these things. So here, we're able to say that we want the row ETPB row, that's this row, this green row right here. We want that to have no padding when, it, when that one's, when it's fixed, okay? So it's engaged. We're also doing the same thing for the logo. We want one that's PA fixed header. We want the width to be 80%. PA fixed header, we want the font size to be 16, okay? 
I hope that helps. You could add more things. Like, I don't even know. Like, maybe you want a red border on the bottom here. Sure. Go to go here and say PA fixed header, ETPB section, border bottom, red, you know, something like that. And you'll get it. Because remember, that class is active now when it's fixed. Now, when we go up, that class is not active anymore. So whatever you want to do, if you want to change the background color, if you want to swap your logo, I mean, whatever you want to do, you can use this system. So this system is extendable and, you know, who knows, maybe we'll be using it for more tutorials, but I know it works for a couple of these and I hope that you can and just play with this and take advantage of it and learn from it. Okay, so that's how you shrink the Divi header when scrolling. I hope you guys like that. So today is Tuesday. You're going to be getting a lot of tutorials on Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays, we're going to be doing quick tips. That's kind of a new series that we're doing. So if you like anything like related to Divi, that's a little outside the box, a little different and original, then you're going to like our channel. And that's why we have uh, so many subscribers joining us, I believe, because our, of our content, the nature of our content. So if that's your, that's your thing, Join us and we'll see you in the next video.